President Trump observing a moment of silence to mark the mass shooting in Las Vegas. His administration also silent about what should be done to curb gun violence, saying now is not the time to talk about whether laws should change. And it would be uh, premature for us to discuss policy when we don't fully know uh, all the facts or what took place uh, last night. Democrats who favor some form of gun control on Monday demanding action. And I want my colleagues to understand the pain that comes when the victims of this kind of epidemic violence see nothing but silence from this body. Senator Chris Murphy, representing the survivors of the 2012 schoolhouse massacre in Newtown, Connecticut, saying Congress should, quote, get off its ass and do something. In fact, Washington has been moving to loosen gun laws. President Trump in February repealing a regulation that blocked some mentally ill people from buying guns. Republican lawmakers now lining up behind a bill that would make it easier to buy gun silencers. Former Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton condemning that idea, saying on Twitter that it would have been harder for people in Las Vegas to escape the gunfire if they couldn't hear where it was coming from. There's still a lot we don't know about exactly what types of guns that 64-year-old Stephen Paddock brought to the Mandalay Hotel. Nevada allows residents to carry guns openly without a permit, and it does not ban military-style assault rifles. No comment from the National Rifle Association, the powerful gun rights group. Trump himself offering condolences to the victims, saying he will visit Las Vegas on Wednesday.